Yeah, hello and welcome to this video. A bit of a late start there. Yeah, um, I had I had screwed up the the video number. So let's see what Honig Ducks is doing. Hey, he's going for a Sicilian defense. Yeah, I don't I don't really think the open is a good one. I mean, it's good, yeah, but <laughs> not for me. I need to play some more conservative chess. Bishop b5 check. Honigdax, by the way, is a German is a German name. It's um in English, it's a honey badger. Pretty fierce animal. Dangerous um, predator, the honey badger. So we have a, um, a sideline here in the in the Rosolimo Moscow complex. Here, Black um, should probably go Bishop G4, getting rid of the bishop as long as this is still possible. I will play basically whatever he does. If he doesn't go Bishop G4, I will play H3 and then D4, and then Black has very little to show in the center. All those moves like Bishop B7, A6, they don't help all that much. Bishop g4 should be played. Okay, this is this is possible. That's not a terrible choice. But I'm not unhappy here, obviously. So he gives me the the square on c3. Yeah, here the the thing is, mm, yeah, I mean d4 is hanging. And I think this is actually better for white. I think in my book I recommended against e5, I recommended h3, to be honest. I think I just played d4 a tad too quickly. But, I mean, this is not bad. It's, it's something that I looked at briefly, and I wasn't um, so sure about this kind of situation when I was writing. Um, I did not want to allow the knight to come to d4, but it's not, it's not terrible or anything. Um, yeah, how to do that? Probably bishop e3 is correct, allowing him to take. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so happy with this development. It's it's kind of an untidy position, what I don't like so much. Untidy, I mean, what I'm probably that's a somewhat weird way to phrase it but it's it's kind of how i view it it, it doesn't look very it doesn't look so organized if there is a double pawn on f3 with the king on g1 don't really don't really like it so much oh he allows me to take on d4 that is a surprise yeah i'm happily taking this opportunity I could have won the pawn before, but that would have um, come with a price tag, the double pawn again, and now I'm just getting it for free, almost for free. He will get the, the he has a pair of bishops quite clearly, so it's not a completely free pawn. Okay, so he th he basically uh, says that the opposite colored bishops will help him. That's that's uh, probably true. Bishop on f6 um, is a strong piece, or will be a strong piece. Um, so what to do here? Yeah, the bishop will come to f6 and then probably quickly knight c5, things like that. So I'm looking at the c5 square, bishop f6, queen d2, knight c5, something like this. I go back, knight c5, I have e5, that's an idea. Rook is uh, fine on c1 anyway, so let's do it. It's taking a long time here.
no, queen a5, something like that. No. Yeah, but I was thinking, isn't e5 good? e5 looks like a good move. I mean, he can go to e7, but that's that's not what you want. And now, b4, knight d7, e6. Oh. Yeah, anyway, e6, of course. Oh, he takes it. I thought bishop f6, maybe. But okay. Now, um. Yeah, pawn, pawn takes. Pawn takes. And the bishop should go to d5. If I get this, if I get this opportunity, I have to take it. Bishop wasn't good on f1. And this is a fantastic square, really. Um, now, if I take it, yeah, and go here, he cannot play rook c7 due to e7. That's a self pin. Knight d4, no, that he can take, but I still don't believe this move. He's threatening knight e2 though, that is, that's important. He threatens knight e2, so how do we do that? That must be, him or here I think I should have a win, a really clean win. I don't see it. I would like to go knight d4, that's really, really a good, good thing. Hmm. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, so he allows me to take here, right? Queen b5, is that a thing? No. Just prevent him from activating. The only thing I need to do is make sure that I'm not blundering a back rank mate. That's the, the thing. Just going, I've got, I've got everything protected. Every single thing that I have is protected, so. Um, knight h4. No move. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, maybe he had a little bit of compensation at the very beginning, but that, I don't know. Um, here, in my book, I recommended h3. I'm, I now remember, yeah, bishop e7, d4, that was the main line. Uh, this is not bad though, it's just a little bit, as I mentioned, it's a little bit uh, untidy. d5, knight d4, bishop e3. I think black should definitely take now. This probably. I think this is um, probably slightly better for white. N not sure the engine wants to go to d2 to c3. Yeah, he says I thought he got more of that pawn sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think it was enough really. Um, you can think about this one, but here you have this constant worry that things happen here. Maybe this is not really a problem because I get f4 in. Like this is, m maybe this one. I can even do this. Um, I think I think my move is simpler. Just just do this, and this is basically doomed. Yeah, it will it will fall. And uh, interesting, 
I think um, maybe here when you look at this, knight c5 has to be avoided. Yeah, and and he says he he saw it but forgot about it. Yeah, that's that's very typical happening. So I think this is probably right. You have to what you do here is black is you have to hope that the rooks get off and the the heavy pieces get off the board and then it's not too bad. Some something like this a5, and then then you're kind of still playing. It's not really great, but um, it's it's probably what you have to do. I will probably play I don't know b3, some something like that, and you have to hope that you get some some opposite colored bishops ending that you can draw. After after e5, I think black is basically lost. That is absolutely impossible to hold. The bishop comes here. Yeah, I wonder if I have something better here, but king h1 is a strong move. I also considered uh, king f1 and rook c2, so one of those moves must be right. Uh, here I didn't like somehow that uh, there might be checks somewhere, but there is none. Rook c2 also looked decent, but king h1 is one of the stronger moves. So. And here, yeah, it's just it's just over. Yeah, that that whole that whole line is, uh, is I think I'm not a really huge fan there. I think bla bla best is this one, and after after this um, g6 or e6, and I think white is just very slightly better. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.